Customizing app icons is one of my favorite ways to spruce up my home screen and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all the different ways in which you can create and get custom app icons for iPadOS 26. When it comes to customizing app icons on iPad there are a few different ways you can go about it. Now first off you can obviously just use the customization settings on your iPad to just customize the app icons that you get right from the app store. So you can just hold down go to edit and customize and then we have have our options here so you have dark mode then we have clear icons which is new with iPad OS 26 so we have these new clear icons also if you find it annoying that it's dimming your wallpaper you can just toggle this little sun icon and then it will just bring the wallpaper back to its original brightness you have clear icons and then we have tinted icons which looks like this so you can maybe like use the eyedropper tool to pick up a color from your wallpaper or you can use the slider to just choose a color that you want and you can also adjust the opacity and then you have your tinted icons like this so that's the one way that you can customize your app icons on ipad and then we have actual custom app icons so these are images that you can get off of etsy or you can make them yourself this is my app icon pack i will have it linked in the description it's completely free but this is what my custom app icon pack looks like so it's just images of app logos and you just set it to open the app that you want but like i said there are a few different places where you can get the actual icons i have a pack etsy has a lot that people sell you can also use an app like the color widgets app which is this app right here they have a bunch of different icon packs some of them you need to pay for some of them are free i do have the pro version of the app but you can just use some of the free options and then you can go ahead and choose a pack that you like from this app and you can download it to your ipad so I'm gonna use this app as an example to show you how I create the icons. So I'm gonna use one with a light background because with iPadOS 26 as well, they did allow custom app icons to be supported with the customization settings on the iPad. So it only works with app icons that have a white background and you will see the app icons that are supported with this will get this 3D effect. So not all the app icons on my icon pack are supported with this but you can see like the pinterest app the youtube studio app the youtube the spark mail app they all have this 3d look to the logo and that's how you will know if it's supported with this new feature so then when you have your custom app icons that work with this if you use the customization settings on the ipad itself like dark mode or clear icons then those apps will also change even if it is a custom app icon so that is really nice so again it only works if you have a white background for your app icons and if it does like detect the logo and all that you can see with clear icons and tinted icons it all works with that but again not all the app icons in my icon pack works with this i am working on an updated pack that hopefully works better with ipad os 26 and ios 26 but yeah that's just to show you that that is now supported so i'm gonna use a icon pack that has a white background to show you how you can get this look so you can just select any icon pack and click on edit pack and then go more in depth with the color so i'm gonna keep the background as white and I'm gonna choose a custom color for the icons. I think I'm gonna go for this pink color. And then you can go ahead and click on save pack. And then it will give you a list of all the apps that it's gonna download. So 50 icons are selected right now. I'm just gonna go here, click on deselect all. And then I'm just gonna manually choose the ones that I wanna have on my iPad. So I'm gonna go like the messages app, mail, Netflix, music so yeah you just go ahead and choose the ones that you want sadly for ipad there aren't a lot of options for app icons it's more catered to iphone so for instance like an app like good notes which is really popular on ipad it doesn't even have that um, but i'm just showing you if you want to use the color widgets app you can but you can obviously get your app icon pack from either my website or etsy there are so many available out there or you can make your own but yeah once you have your icon selected i'm going to click on install 12 icons and you're just gonna select save with shortcuts 
and then save to photos. So then it's going to save all the custom app icons to your photos app. So that's step one is just getting your app icons wherever you want to get it from. Then step two is actually creating the shortcuts that allow you to have the custom app icons. So we're going to be using the shortcuts app, which is a default app on your iPad. If you don't have it on your iPad, you might have deleted it in the past. You can just find it again on the app store, but this is what the app looks like. It's called shortcuts. And then we're going to create our shortcuts for our apps. Here you can see I have a bunch already for all the apps that I've created over my iPhone and iPad, but you're going to create a shortcut for each app since this shortcut allows the app to open on your iPad, the custom app icon. So to do this, you're going to click on this plus button up here and you're going to create a new shortcut. Then you're going to choose this option that says open app. Now, if you don't have this option here, you can just go ahead and click here and search open app and it will also come up and then you can choose it. But most likely it's going to be here in the suggestions. So then it says open app and then you're going to choose which app you want this icon to open. So this for this one, I'm going to use Safari. So you just choose whatever app you want and then you're going to click on the share icon and select add to home screen. So we're going to do that. Then this menu will pop up and here you can go ahead and set your icon. So first off, you're just going to want to title it. So mine is going to be Safari. You can also choose from Apple's custom features here. Like you can use their colors and their icons that they have as an app icon if you want but for this we're actually going to go to image here and then select choose photo and upload the photos that we just got from the color widgets app or wherever you got your app icons from so this is going to be for safari so i'm going to select that one and then it just shows you what it will look like and then you just simply click on add and then it added it as a custom app icon as you can see here so that is simply how it works i'm just going to show you again you go into the shortcuts app you create a new shortcut so for each individual app you will create a new shortcut don't reuse the same shortcut every time so i'm gonna go click on the plus button again click on open app choose the app so i'm gonna go here to messages share add to home screen go to image and upload your image whether it's in the photos app or the files app you can choose where you want to get your image from so this one is for the messages app click on use and also remember to give it a title and then you can click on add so you will see now the difference between these two icons this one has that 3d look to it this one doesn't so now when i go to use the customization settings on the ipad if i want it to be to like dark mode then you will see this one works and it does change it and this one does not I don't know why some works and some doesn't, but that is what it will look like when it is supported with the customization settings built into the iPad. Here you can see I created a few custom app icons with that pack from Color Widgets, and all of these have that 3D look to them, so they're all gonna work with those customization settings. The only reason I'm really pointing this out is just so that if you want to have custom images and custom app icons and still have it feel really personalized to you you can still have that while still having support for the native settings like dark mode and light mode especially if you use that a lot so i just wanted to point that out but that is what the app icons now look like and how you can install them and create them I do just quickly want to cover a few common questions or problems that people run into when creating custom app icons. So one of them being people don't really know what to do with the original app icon once they've created the custom app icon. So once you've created all your custom app icons and you still have all your original app icons, you just have to remove them from your home screen. So you just hold down onto your screen and then you just click on the little minus option and then you just select remove from home screen. You're not going to delete the app because then the shortcut won't work so you're just going to select remove from home screen so then only the custom app icon is on your home screen and all the other app icons are hidden away in your app library here so that is what you do with the original apps once you've created your app icons and then another common question that people ask me is that they've created all of their app icons so say they've created like three or 15 doesn't matter they all open up the same app which is the last app they created app icon for so say i started with good notes and i ended with youtube when i go into the good notes app it also opens up YouTube when I go into this Instagram app. 
It also opens up YouTube. So they all open up the same app. That will only happen if you didn't create a new shortcut for each individual app and you only reused the same shortcut. So you just probably created the shortcut, chose the app you wanted and added it to your home screen. And then you didn't go out of the shortcut to create a new shortcut you probably just went ahead and just changed the app every single time but the problem is when you click on this shortcut it will run whatever is in your shortcuts app so right now it says open youtube the same thing would happen if i changed this to let's say weather and went ahead and added that to my home screen now the last app icon created is the weather app so if i go into youtube now it will also open up the weather app because it all relates back to whatever is going on in this shortcut in the shortcuts app so all of that to say when you create a shortcut you click on this plus button you do the thing you add it to your home screen then you go out of that shortcut and click on the plus button again and create an entirely new shortcut for that app so you will have many shortcuts in your shortcuts app for each app that you've created a shortcut for. So that is another issue that a lot of people run into that I just wanna explain so that you don't run into that same issue and waste a lot of time creating shortcuts that will only open up the same shortcut. So that's everything you need to know about customizing app icons on iPadOS 26. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, all the app icons that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description if you're interested in getting your hands on it for yourself. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.